Have you ever arrived on a trouble call only to find a blown fuse at the transformer with no visual problems? Did you replace the fuse with the hope of not blowing the lid off? Have you ever taken the time to install a new transformer only to find there's an internal problem after it was energized? Or have you energized a capacitor bank that had an internal short? If these types of situations occur at your utility, as they do in most, then one of the easy-to-use handheld testers from HD Electric Company will be able to save your company time, money, and improve safety. We're here at this training facility to demonstrate HD Electric Company's line of handheld transformer and capacitor testers. These versatile instruments allow field personnel to quickly and easily diagnose major transformer and capacitor problems. The second generation tilt, called the Tilt 2, tests for shorts and opens within a transformer and will also test for shorts along the secondaries. The Quick Check performs these same tests with the added capability of testing capacitors and capacitor banks. First, let's take a look at the Tilt 2. The front of the unit has one test button and three LEDs. Attached are two coiled leads with copper alligator clips at the ends. When the test button is pressed, a low voltage signal is impressed across the two leads. Depending on what the leads are connected to, one of the three LEDs will light up, indicating either an open, a short, or an OK. On the side of the unit are two terminals that are used to self-test the instrument, which we'll get to in a moment. On the back of the unit is a battery door that can be quickly opened for replacement of the 9-volt alkaline battery that powers the unit. There's a low battery feature so that when the battery becomes low, it will not allow the unit to operate and no lights will come on. The tilt can be used to test any de-energized transformer, single or three-phase, overhead or pad mount, from small transformers, including instrument transformers, to very large transformers, including any distribution class transformer. Unlike a simple ohm meter, these instruments use a high frequency, low voltage signal to measure the transformer winding inductance and power capacitor capacitance, and can differentiate true shorts from other low resistance windings. Let's take a look at how the tilt can be used in the field. One application where the instrument can save a crew some time is by using it to test a transformer in the yard prior to loading it on the truck. There are times when a new or rebuilt transformer has been miswired or has some other internal connection problem that the tilt will find. Many times this problem isn't found until after the transformer is installed on the pole. Let's test a single phase overhead type transformer with two primary bushings and three secondary bushings. While there are many variations of transformers, they're all tested in a similar way. Prior to using the tilt, it should first be self-tested to make sure it's working properly. With this model of tilt, the self-test terminals are on the side of the unit. To self-test the instrument, first take the right lead and press it against the terminal marked OK, and then press the button. The green OK light should flash and the horn sound. Then press this same lead against the terminal marked short. The short light should come on. The last and very important test is to connect the two leads together to make sure a short indication is given when the button is pressed. This also tests the leads and the internal fuse. Now we're ready to start testing the transformer. The basic testing procedure is to connect the two leads across each combination of primary bushings, H1 and H2, and the secondary bushings, X1, X2, and X3. On some transformers, there may be a ground strap connected between the center secondary bushing and the ground lug. It's okay to leave it connected during testing. It doesn't matter in which order to test, so let's start by connecting across the two outside secondary bushings. Press the button. It should give an OK indication. The OK reading indicates there is neither an internal short nor an open condition between the two bushings. This OK reading also indicates that it senses the inductance of the winding between these two bushings. Now let's move one of the leads to the center bushing and test, and then test the last combination of the three. An OK indication should be given on each test. Be aware, when testing on the secondary side, do not contact the primary side, as higher voltages are generated on the primary bushings. If an open indication is given, this may mean one of the alligator clips is not making good contact with the bushing. If the lug is oxidized or rusty, 
Rotate the alligator clip back and forth to get a better connection or use a wire brush. If the alligator clips have good contact and it continues to give an open indication, then there's a connection problem inside the transformer. If a short indication is given, then the transformer has an internal problem and it should not be used. The next step is to test across the primary bushings. Again, it should indicate an OK condition. As an additional check, the tilt can be used to test between the primary and secondary bushings. In this case, the tilt should indicate an open. It can also test between any of the bushings to ground, verifying none of the bushings are directly grounded by indicating open. Another useful application is using it in the field when a troubleman gets to a transformer with a blown fuse. If there are no visual indications of a problem, the troubleman can quickly use the tilt to test the transformer before installing a new fuse. Let's take a look at that application. When arriving at the site, the troubleman would first use a voltage detector to verify that no voltage is present on the secondary side. The tilt is then connected across each combination of secondary bushings without disconnecting the secondary wiring. This can include bundled secondaries or a cable run from the transformer to the meter. Again, all of the tests should indicate OK. If a short indication is given, then the secondary wiring must be removed and the transformer retested to determine if the cause of the short indication is either in the transformer or along the secondary wiring. After the wiring is removed, the isolated bushings can be retested. The secondary wiring can also be tested separately. Please be aware, if any meters are installed, the tilt will test along the secondary wires and through the meter, thereby testing any connected load. There are conditions when the tilt will indicate a short when testing the secondary wiring with meters installed. This short indication may or may not be a problem. This is where the user determines how they want to proceed. As long as the transformer tests OK, some users will then reinstall a fuse, while others may try to further determine if there's a problem. For example, one possible next step is to remove the customer meter to isolate the secondaries and perform another test. This is determined by the work practices of the utility. In some situations, an overhead or underground distribution transformer can be more conveniently tested from a meter socket served by that transformer. Before using the tilt at the meter socket, verify there's no voltage present on both the load and source sides of the socket. Then use the tilt to test across the two source side receptacles. Then from each source side receptacle to ground. All tests should indicate OK. Be aware. This procedure may not work if other loads are connected to the same transformer. The wiring on the load side of the meter socket going into the main breaker can also be tested for shorts or crossed phases. With the main breaker open, use the tilt test across the two load side receptacles and from each receptacle to ground. All tests should indicate open. If the main breaker is not open, connected loads within the building may cause a short indication. Another application is to use the tilt to test a newly installed transformer or transformer bank after the secondary wiring is connected and before it's energized. Without the meters installed, the tilt can be used to verify the secondary wiring has not been accidentally grounded or has any crossed phases. The operation of testing a pad mount transformer is very similar. Again, prior to testing, verify voltage is not present. One important item to note, when testing a pad mount transformer, the primary side must be removed when testing the secondary side. Therefore, the elbows must be removed before testing. If they're not removed, the tilt may erroneously indicate a short condition. Use the same process of connecting the leads across the secondary and primary sides. When connecting to the primary bushings, a probe may be needed to allow access to the recessed contact. Let's move on to the quick check. The quick check performs all the same transformer testing as the tilt with the added capability of testing capacitors and capacitor banks. The quick check has a fourth LED on the front panel for a capacitor OK indication. This instrument can also be used in the field or in the shop. Before using the instrument, it should also be self-tested. Similar to the tilt, there are terminals on the side. Before testing a capacitor, verify that it has been de-energized and discharged. The quick check is then connected between the two bushings of the capacitor. 
If the capacitor has a single bushing, then it's connected between the bushing and ground lug. When connected, the test button is pressed. The instrument will indicate a short, open, or capacitor OK. As with the tilt, if an open indication is given, one of the test leads may not be making good contact. Use a wire brush or rotate the clip to get a better connection. The reading should be capacitor OK. If it indicates a short or continues to indicate open, do not use the capacitor and remove it from service. A two bushing capacitor can also be tested from each bushing to ground, which should indicate an open condition. The quick check can also be connected across multiple capacitors. In this application, attach one lead to one side of the bushings and the other lead to the other side. Press to test. Please note, if one of the capacitors is shorted, the quick check will indicate a short. At that point, the capacitors would need to be disconnected and individually tested to determine which one or more capacitors are internally shorted. As we conclude this demonstration video, here are a couple of important points. As with most test equipment, there are limitations of the tilt and quick check. These instruments are very beneficial in testing for major defects. They can determine if a transformer or capacitor has an internal problem caused by a short or open condition. However, if a transformer or a capacitor is partially failed, these instruments may not detect it. If there's ever any visual problem with the transformer or capacitor, it should be replaced no matter what any test results indicate. And HD Electric Company would like to remind users of its products to wear all personal protective equipment, including FR clothing, hard hat, safety glasses, and rubber gloves. There are also a couple of optional features that can be included on either instrument. One option is an automatic self-test. This feature self-tests the unit automatically every time the test button is pressed. The unit internally tests itself and will flash each LED prior to making the actual test. The other option is having a magnet installed on the back of the unit. This allows the user to place it on the side of the equipment during testing. 